Yeah. You got an issue with the Bears naming Dalton the starter over Fields? Absolutely. Um, in this position right here, looking at Andy Dalton the last couple of years, Andy Dalton's not a winner. Andy Dalton had an opportunity in Dallas once the injury occurred to Dak Prescott to go out there and change his fate and change his fortune. He didn't do that. He went four and five in those games. Andy Dalton the year before that went two and 11. Andy Dalton, the writing's on the wall in terms of what he can do and how his skills would translate to the greater team success and winning. Now, every player knows that. So then we got to go into a talent conversation. Maybe Andy Dalton was in bad situations, bad predicaments. Let's see him play. Okay, okay, Andy Dalton still got a little zip. Okay. All right, Justin, get in there. And you look at that and you say, oh, my. What are we having a debate over? The skill level, the mobility, the accuracy, the arm talent of Justin Fields in projection will be much greater than what you're ever going to see from Andy Dalton this year. So, Coach, if you want me to trust in you and your word, you want me to trust in this Chicago Bears system, you need to do what's best for all of us. Can you imagine if you're one of the other 51 guys who have to go out there, go to war, go to battle, and he ain't even give you the best ammunition to go to battle? Oh, I'll be upset. So unless you want us to undermine you in terms of your authority and what we believe in you, you got to put the best player out there. That's Justin Fields. Marcel, I have no issue with the Bears naming Andy Dalton the starter because I know the way the game works. Mm. And if you know the way the game works, you understand why the Bears named Andy Dalton the starter. I'm going to put y'all up on game. Head coach Matt Nagy, general manager of the Bears, Ryan Pace, they said they are going to do what is in the best interest of the organization because they care about the best interest of the organization. But they left out the caveat. Uh oh, I They only it. care about the best interest of the organization as long as they are part of the organization. Bingo. And the best way for them to make sure that they are still head coach and general manager in 2022 next year is by starting Andy Dalton. Oh. If you start Andy Dalton and he struggles... Put in Justin Fields at the end of the season. Justin Fields goes and wins four of the last six games. You can say, see, we were on a hot streak. <laughs> but if you start Justin Fields and he struggles, now you have no ace in the hole. And furthermore, you lose your jobs. <laughs> Don't look very far. 2018, Baltimore Ravens, Harbaugh. He had had three consecutive seasons not making the playoffs. He was on his way out. Joe Flacco was struggling. But in comes first-round quarterback Lamar Jackson for the last six or so games of the season. Yeah, yeah. Lamar takes him on a hot streak. Joe Flacco's, uh, Jim Harbaugh's job is saved, and he hasn't looked back. Please get this, fans, mm. particularly Bears fans, even analysts that are acting like they don't know. Mm. The only reason that Andy Dalton is starting is because management, general managers, head coaches are selfish, and they got to do what's <laughs> in the best interest of them. They want the team to win, but they want the team to win because of them. Mm. And if Andy Dalton starts, Nagy and Pace are safe for another year. If Andy Dalton doesn't start, there's mm. a chance they're not safe. Okay, this is the runway argument. I saw Jeff Fisher try to pull this one off with Jared Goff. Job security. All right, I love it. Here's the problem, though. Even in my argument, because I made that case before, what if Justin Fields didn't struggle in the beginning? What if he succeeded from the beginning? And then you only have to go through, let me go in my back pocket and pull Justin Fields out. He right there in your front pocket. Why don't you just play him from week one? That's the only challenge I have to this situation. They're already on the hot seat. Of course. They know it. And you're going to start off just because you want the theater of saving the day at the end of the season versus we ain't got nothing to say because we've been balling from hello. I asked you, Emmanuel Acho, Mr. Emmy, why won't you start Justin Fields in that situation? Because he can help you from the beginning. I'll say it like this, Sal. I like it's it, though. It's almost like having insurance. Yeah. You don't necessarily need insurance, car insurance, as long as you don't ever get in an accident. Mm -hmm. But the second you get in an accident, it behooves you to have insurance. Fact, fact. So, Andy Dalton, you're going out there and you're like, if we get into this accident, it's all good. We got insurance in Justin Fields. But if you roll Justin Fields out there and you get into a figurative accident, you start the season two and five, two and six, something along those lines, you have no insurance. You can't no, no, roll Andy Dalton out there to save the day. <laughs> so you know what, Sal, you put rough. me on this game and our conversations help elevate our minds. It's real simple, Bears fans. It's not that Justin Fields is worse, but you got to save your job if you're a coach or a general manager in Chicago.